سابقا we learned or تعلمنا فتحة and كسرة and ضم we learned also فقد فوجد and يصل ويقف ثلاثة اثنان واحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحبا جميعا أنا عز الدين and this is learn Arabic with Z كيف حالكم اليوم We'll talk about something close to harakat, but it's not literally harakat. Find in this video how many times I was supposed to say sawt, but I said sound. So find out where I said sound, and I want you to say sawt in that place instead of me. From the previous videos, the harakat found out that you are not pronouncing them well. So they brought their parents. Now, as we agreed before, harakat are short vowels. Now we have the long vowels. So a is short. We have a long one. E is short. We have e long. U is short. We have u long. They have the same sound, but one is short and one is long. And the letters a, e, u, the long vowels, we write them after the letters because they are letters also. But a, e, u, the short, they are signs. We write them above or under the letters. Now let's take examples. For example, we said ba short. For example, we say ba is short sound. Ba is long sound. Ja is short sound. Ja is long sound. Wa is short. Wa is long. Tu is short. Tu is long. U is short. U is long. Ru is short sound. Ru is long sound. C is short sound. C is long sound. Mi is short sound. Mi is long sound. D is short sound. D is a long sound. Now, for these long vowels, we call them huruful mad. So, harakat are the short vowels. Huruful mad are the long vowels. And as we can notice, both of them, they make a sound for the previous letter, for the letter which was before it, whether it is the harakat or the huruf al -mad. Now, let's take an example to make it more clear. We have this letter now, we can make it ki, or ka, or ku. Here, we will take another letter also. We have ka and na, and da, and a. So we have, wait, 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 wait. What is this letter? Is it mad? or normal a uh, or what don't worry about this letter we will have a video only about this letter and the sign about this letter so don't worry about it right now now i just want you to concentrate in that we have k in the starting na in the middle da in the middle and a uh, in the end now we want to make this word canada okay but how do we write canada we will put k with fatha na with fatha then da with a Da so ka na da can we write it ka na da like this with three a no of course why because it depends on how you pronounce it if you pronounce it ka na da like this with three long a you can write it ka na da with three a but here we just pronounce it short ka and short na and long da ka na da so let's imagine that we are writing it in English. We'll have small a to make it for fatha and the capital a for a. So imagine that we are saying ka na da. We can make the last da long as we want. We can say it ka na da. We can make it as long as we want because it's one of huruf al mad. Now, if we said that we'll put harakat and huruf al mad in English, so we'll put fatha on c and n. It will be ka na da like this. But don't tell anyone that I made this in English. Shh. So from this video, we learned that we have fatha, short sound, a, and huruf al mad, a, long sound. E, short sound, e, long sound. U, short sound, and u, long sound. About huruf al mad, we will have an advanced video later, not now. From this video, I want you to know the sound and the use of huruf al mad and harakat and I want you to understand that for huruf al mad we write them as normal letters after the letter which we want to make it long 
and for harakat they are signs we put them above or under the letter which you want to give it a movement and that's all for today looking forward to see you in the next video see you soon إلى اللقاء